checked in with who and who was kissing who and a little bit hard to keep track. It was a fun book. The mystery all gets resolved in the end. I had figured it out. As you always do. I try. I would definitely read more of these books. I enjoyed it a lot. I could not find a website for Kate Saunders, but she can be found under the Bloomsbury author page. I would check her books out. There you go. Another three awesome books to keep you warm on these chilly nights. That's right. We hope you check out at least one, if not all three. They're all very different. Yes, they are, but they're all women. Yes. Did you notice that? Yeah. That, well, Charles Dickens, but Kate is the star of this one. Trivia. Last week's question was, which famous mystery author used the pseudonym John Redfern, Joylyn Carter, and Peter Benedict? A. Robert Bernard, B. G. K. Chesterton, C. Edna Buchanan, or D. Edith Partitor? The answer is D. Edith Partitor, or better known as Ellis Peters, who wrote the Cadfell Mystery Series. This week's question is, which famous mystery author served as a yeoman on President Theodore Roosevelt's presidential yacht. A. William Bayer, B. Rex Stout, C. Raymond Chandler, or D. Franklin Dixon. Good luck. It's that time of year again. It's time for us to announce the nominees for the upcoming Agatha Awards. First up is Best Contemporary Novel, Cajun Kiss of Death by Ellen Byron, Crooked Lane Books, Watch Her by Edwin Hill, Kensington, The Madness of Crowds by Louise Penny, Minotaur, Her Perfect Life by Hank Philippi Ryan, Forge, Symphony Road by Gabriel Valjean, Level Best Books, Best Historical Novel, Murder at Mallowan Hall by Colleen Cambridge, Kensington. Clark and Division by Naomi Hirahara, Soho Crime. The Bombay Prince by Sujata Massey, Soho Crime. Death at Greenway by Lori Raider Day, HarperCollins. The Devil's Music by Gabriel Valjean. Winter Goose Publishing. Best First Novel, The Turncoat's Widow by Mally Becker. Level Best Books. A Dead Man's Eyes by Lori Duffy Foster. Level Best Books. Arsenic and Adobe by Mia P. Manansala, Berkeley. Murder in the Master by Judy L. Murray. Level Best Books. Mango, Mambo, and Murder by Raquel V. Reyes, Crooked Lane Books. Best Short Story, A Family Matter by Barb Goffman, Alfred Hitchcock Mystery Magazine, January, February, 2021. A Tale of Two Sisters by Barb Goffman in Murder on the Beach, Destination Murders. Docks at Midnight by Richie Navarez in Midnight Hour, Crooked Lane Books. The Locked Room Library by Gigi Pandian, Ellery Queen Mystery Magazine, July August 2021. And Bay of Reckoning by Sean Riley Simmons in Murder on the Beach, Destination Murders. Best Nonfiction, The Combat Zone, Murder, Race, and Boston Struggle for Justice by Jan Brogan, Brightleaf Press. Murder Most Grotesque, The Comedic Crime Fiction of Joyce Porter by Chris Chan, Level Best Books. The Irish Assassins, 
Conspiracy, Revenge, and the Phoenix Park Murders that Stunned Victorian England by Julie Cavanaugh, Atlantic Monthly Press. How to Write a Mystery, a handbook from Mystery Writers of America by MWA with editors Lee Child and Lori R. King, Simon & Schuster. Best Children or Young Adult Mystery Cold-Blooded Myrtle by Elizabeth C. Bunce, Algonquin Young Readers. The Forest of Stolen Girls by June Herr, Fuel and Friends, Macmillan. I Play One on TV by Alan Orloff, Down and Out Books. Leisha's Song by Lynn Slaughter, Fire and Ice Melange Books. Enola Holmes and the Black Barouche by Nancy Springer, Wednesday Books. We send our congratulations to every one of the nominees. And please check out all these books and tell us what you think. If we pronounced anyone's name wrong, we're very sorry. We said from the very beginning, we are not linguists. (laughs) We are not. (laughs) Okay, well, that wraps up another episode. We hope you join us next week. And remember, life would be boring without a little mystery. Bye.